brought to you by State Farm. For auto, home, life, and banking, get to a better state. My name is Man One, and I'm an artist uh, from Los Angeles. When I got into graffiti, I was just addicted. I was like, just doing it on the, on the side of the bus and stuff like that at first, because a friend just gave me a marker one day. I was like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm doing graffiti. I'm like, what does that mean? But yeah, on the streets of LA, it was hard because it was, you know, you had to deal with gangsters, you had to deal with the police. Back then, it wasn't like you, you told everybody that you were a graffiti artist, you know? And my parents didn't know I did graffiti. You know, uh, a lot of the kids in my school didn't know that I did graffiti because it was really underground back then. Now it's like a whole celebrity status thing. Everyone's like, oh, right, has their, their name on their shirt and everything. But you know, at the end of the day, that's how I learned how to become an artist, you know, just on the streets. No one that I knew was making any money doing graffiti. Uh, we just wanted to do it for the fame. But even at that young age, I knew that there was some kind of life after doing it on the streets, you know? Like, I, I just knew. And I would tell my friends and my crew, like, yo, let's, let's figure out a way to sell this stuff. Let's put it on canvas or let's try to get some jobs, some mural. And I just started figuring out a way to, to basically tell people this is an art form and that it has value. And it took a long time to the point where I was trying to show in galleries in, in the early 90s. And galleries at the time wouldn't accept graffiti artists because they, they said graffiti belonged on the streets, it didn't belong in the galleries. So we would have to have our own shows in our own spaces, alternative spaces. So I opened up Cruz Gallery and I started representing artists like Crayola and, you know, Retina. I mean, all these big artists that are out now a lot of them showed for the first time or very early on in my gallery where pieces were going for 200 bucks. Now they're going for $200,000. For 10 years I ran the gallery and it became very successful and we had a huge following. Uh, we were in downtown LA and I closed it in 2012 because after 10 years of running the gallery, I, it was like finally legitimized, you know? I mean, we had already had shows at MoCA, we had shows in museums all over the world with graffiti art, and it was selling. And I said, you know what? I don't want to be stuck behind the computer, you know, trying to sell everyone else's work. I got to get back out there and do my own thing. It's gone full circle, you know, from, from when uh, I first had a vision that, that, this could, that this could work to the point where I got overwhelmed by so much work that I had to kind of step back and say, all right, I'm just gonna, just gonna do my own thing now. There's a lot of different brands that I work with, and you know, we're here today because I'm working with Red Bull, you know, with the Lata Gafica. And what I really like about this campaign is that it was like, do your own art. I think when you see a Man One piece, uh, it's bold and colorful. Um, there's a message. Um, I, I, I like to stay positive. Sometimes there's, there's things you gotta bring out that are really, really tough and, and uh, you know, shocking or moving. But at the end of the day, um, you know, I'm here because I want to make the world a better place. That's the bottom line. And that's why I think uh, I paint with so much color and vibrancy because I want people to be attracted to it. And uh, I want to just, just make the neighborhood look good and make the world look good, you know?